says, now I'm getting ready to go back to glory because I've died on the cross. But now I'm getting ready to go back to glory. Jesus Christ got 12 disciples here. He's got 12 apostles. I want you to watch verse 8. Look at verse 8. The Bible said in verse 8. What did the verse 8 say? Well, I have given unto them. I have given unto them. The words. The word that thou gave me. I'm talking about same word here. I'm talking about same word. You've got to speak the same word. Now, God gave the Christ the word, and then when Christ died on the cross and got up early on Sunday morning and got ready to go back to heaven, he said to the, his father, Father, I have given them the word that you gave me. So then the apostles have the same word. The apostles have the same word that Christ had. Christ gave the same word that God gave him. Same way. They're speaking the same thing. All right, look at verse number nine. Verse number nine says what? Verse nine I says, I pray for them. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Watch this. I pray not for the world. But for them. But for them. Which thou hast given me. Which thou hast given me. For they are thine. For they are thine. And all mine are thine. And all mine are thine. And thine are mine. And thine are mine. And I glorify in. All right, look at verse number 14. Verse 14 says what? I have given them the word. I have given them the word. And the world hath hated and them. And the world hath hated them. Because they are not of the world. Because they are not of the world. Even as I am not. Even if world. I'm not of the word. I pray not that thou should have taken them out of the world. Out of, now read me verse number 20. Verse number 20, verse 20 says what? Neither pray I for these alone. Watch it now, neither pray I for these alone. But for them. But for them. Also with that shall believe. Watch it now, watch it, watch it. He said, now I'm going to pray for these apostles. Why are you going to pray for the apostles? Because I gave them your way. I gave them your way. All right, but now read verse 20 again. Verse 20 says what? Neither pray I for Neither these alone. pray I for these alone. I am not only praying for the apostles. I pray for the apostles, but I'm not praying for them alone. Well, who else are you praying for? Jesus. I'm not praying for them alone, but read. But for them also. But for them I'm not only praying for the apostles, but I'm praying for them also, also who shall believe, who on me. Shall believe on, me. on me. Now, I'm not just praying for the apostles, but I'm praying for everybody that believe on me. on me, but not just believe on me, but not just believe on me, because a lot of folks say, I believe in Jesus. I'm praying for those that believe on me through their word. Through their word. word. Now, what are you talking about here? He said, now listen, God gave me the word. Christ gave the word to the apostles. The apostles gave us the word, which means then that the word came from God to Christ. Christ kept the word. Gave the word to the apostles. The apostles kept the word. Gave the word to us. And it's the same word. It's the same word. So which means then that if every church is the church of Christ, then every church got to speak the same word. You can't change that word. The word that came from God that went to Christ, that went to the apostles, that went to us, must be spoken by us the same way. The apostles preached the same way. Everybody heard the same way. Everybody obeyed the same way, which means everybody was in the same church. <laughs> now what does that mean? That simply means that when you see all these different denominations, they are not the church of Christ because they are not speaking the same way. You got to speak the same way. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. When the words say the disciples came together on the first day of the week to break bread, if you're the church of Christ, you will speak the same thing. So, 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 <laughs> what I'm saying to you is that the argument 
the argument So if a church is not preaching the same thing, it's not the same church. Because the church in the Bible heard the word from the apostles. And that was the same word that Jesus gave them. And that was the same word that his father gave him. Now, 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 now. Now read verse 21 again. Verse 21 says what? That they all may be one. Do you see? Now, there it is. That, I'm, I'm quitting this one. That's the basis for religious unity. Right there. There it is right there. That's the basis for religious unity. Watch this. He said in verse, watch this now. In verse 20 he says what? Neither pray I for these for alone. For these alone. But for them also uh -huh. which shall believe on me through their word. Now that's us. That's everybody that's going to believe on Jesus through the words of the apostle. Yes, that they all may be, one. may be one. One. Well, why is it that all churches in Fort Lauderdale are not together? Because they are not believing the word. Yes, sir. They are not obeying the word. The Bible says that if you believe the word, that he gave to the apostles, then we all will be one. That's the basis for unity. That's the basis right there for unity. And that is the word of God. The same word. Same word. The word that God gave to Christ, that Christ gave to the apostles, that the apostles gave to us, and, that the, and that's the same word that the early Christians heard. They heard the same word. They believed the same thing, obeyed the same thing, and got in the same church. That's why there's no such thing as a Baptist church in the Bible. See, the apostles preached the same thing. You didn't have Peter preaching one thing and Paul preaching something else. They all spoke the same thing. You see? That's why there wasn't but one church because everybody in the early church spoke the same thing. That's why the Bible said they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine because every one of them spoke the same thing. Same thing. So this whole business about we can't ever see the Bible alike. You mean you can't see the Bible alike? You see everything else alike. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem with that green light down there. There's no problem. It doesn't make a difference whether you've been to school or not. I mean, even a wino, when he comes to that green light, he says, uh-oh. I mean, he, a guy, you can be half high, Reg, and you come to a stop sign. I mean, you don't get high high. It, 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 did, did that say S-T-O-O-P? And it doesn't make a difference who you are. That sign doesn't care whether you've been to college or not. When the policeman stopped you, he didn't ask you, you've you been to college. He doesn't care about whether or not you've been to college or not. Stop means stop for everybody. Black folk, white folk, red folk, yellow folk, gray folk, polka dot, grizzle and gray. It does not make a matter. It doesn't make a matter, but it doesn't make a difference about that, man. Grizzle or gray, is that a color? Hey, I better quit here. I'm talking about grizzle or color here, my, 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 my. 